G'day, Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Welcome back to the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. My name's Mark. I hope you guys all had a really good weekend. I really do. I had a good few days off. I was chilling out. I didn't hear actually too much, you know, not, not too much steel news going on at the moment, but I still had a good time. I was out there playing sport, getting the heart rate up, running around, going crazy. So I hope you guys had a good, uh, you know, weekend as well. As I'm about, what am I, one day in front? So it's still, yeah, you're coming off your weekend. Man, that always trips me out. Okay, today's theme or today's video, I wanted to address something that I think a lot of Steel fans, we still, uh, we're a bit, we're a bit unsure what is what is happening, right? And now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna act like I know 100% what is happening with the Steelers, but I want to give you like my view on what I think maybe can happen with this situation in regards to Stefan to it. Now. Well, here's the big question for, for our Steelers going into the free agency, into the draft. We need to try and, you know, shore up that position at defensive end, or sometimes he might even rotate to tackle just depending how the scheme is. Um, but Tuart has been a fantastic Steeler for what now? Almost eight years since the 2014 draft when I think he was picked second overall. Um, he has over 200 tackles forced fumbles, and last year, or two years ago, because he didn't play in 2021, but in 2020, he came off one of his best seasons, uh, where he had 11 sacks in 2020. Now, before the season and all last year, uh, Tuart went through some really hard times. And I can't put, I guess, my personal take on that, because I haven't been through the situation that he has been through, you know. Um, we all know that he had dealt with the injury before the offseason with his knee. And then tragically, um, his brother was uh, involved in a hit and run. And he was, um, unfortunately, he was run over and killed. Look, it's hard to say, to be honest. It's really hard to say. Now, Stefan Tuart was dealing with injury, dealing with the grief of his brother throughout the season of 2021. And the Pittsburgh Steelers really, like, we missed him. We missed him on the defensive line. If you go back and look at any stats, any any ESPN site, NFL site, anything like that, um, Stefan Tuart was truly missed uh, in this defense. This defense could not stop the run. We all know that. We could not stop the run. We even tried to get Montrevious Adam near, near the end as a free agent came into the Pittsburgh Steelers, he tried his best, but still we couldn't stop the run. They were gashing us up the middle, and I think we averaged 140 yards per game on the run. Now, why, why I want to talk about Stefan Tua today is, is I understand, and I don't mean to be, I do not mean to be insensitive. I do not mean, mean to be insensitive at all, right? And maybe he's going through a lot of things with the NFL, with the Pittsburgh Steelers with the game of football, with life in general. Um, but the question is, will uh, Stefan Tuart be a Steeler in 2022, right? That's that's a big question. So does, through the, through the grieving process and the emotions he's going through in life, does Stefan even want to come back? Uh, we haven't heard too many things. We haven't heard any interviews from Stefan himself. We really haven't heard much information we've been left in the dark as fans you know um all last year everyone kept asking when's he gonna play when's he gonna play when is he gonna play and the pittsburgh steelers kind of was really left us quiet they didn't overly go into a detail what was happening and maybe that's not up to us maybe we're not meant to see or hear what is up to us but part of me says i'm a fan of the team you're a fan of the team I think we deserve to know just a little bit, a tiny bit. I think we deserve to know just a tiny bit what the direction is of will Tua come back or will we go out into the free agent market and pick up another stud or will we, we end up going through the draft process and, you know, leaning more on um, Isaiah Loudermilk or fellas like that who can come back, right? A few days ago, right, a few days ago, Kevin Colbert said this, Stefan had a tough season last year. He was battling, battling through an injury that worked his way through. We put him on injury reserve. He's had, per, he's had a personal situation that he's had to deal with. We've been in contact with Stefan. 
and we are very open to continuing to help him and that position and also his availability to us. We just hope for the best for him as he tries to return to the Steelers. Now, that is our general manager, Kevin Colbert, giving us just a little bit of insight to what is happening with, with Tuit. He has one more, one more uh, year on his contract till the end of 2022. However, as a Steeler fan, I kind of feel like we don't know what's going on. We've, we, we've, we've been pushed into the left in the dark. And at this moment, yes, he's still, you know, grieving. And it's a horrible situation. I can't even, I can't even put into words what it must feel like for him to go through that and for that kind of a, um, uh, a, a death on your brother in that situation. So sudden, so young, you can't put into words, right? However, on the other side, as a Steeler fan, if Tuart can't come back, right, will it be known in the next few weeks that he makes a decision? Or do we go into the draft or the free agency without a clue, with no clue, right? We all know last year in 2021, uh, the, the run defense was terrible, right? And the Pittsburgh Steelers didn't really solve that issue. They never truly solved that, that interior defensive line. They had Cameron Haywood. They, we had Aluwalu go out injury, I think it was the first game or the second game. So we were without the whole year without Aluwalu and Stefan Tuitt, right? Two of our biggest players, two of our greatest players in this defense to make a change. And we didn't have them. And the Pittsburgh Steelers never really solved both of those issues. And they never really did. We tried our hardest to bring back Montrevious Adams, or he got signed as a free agent. He did okay. All right. Chris Wormley tried to step up in situations too when he played defensive end. And Isaiah, I, I can't pronounce his name, Louder Milk also tried his best too. But these players were not step on to it. So what I'm trying to say is, as I, as I start to, to wrap up this video, and look, I really didn't want to be too insensitive, but I wanted to, I wanted to tackle this topic. And I also wanted to get your guys' thoughts on what you guys think about this situation, right? Stefan Tuitt, we all know. He had 2021, uh, had the knee injury, and then he was out because of his brother. Now, moving into 2022 for the Pittsburgh Steelers, I this is my scenario. I hope he does sign back. I really do. I hope Stefan Tuitt can once again sign back with the Steelers, right? Play fantastic football, and hopefully that, that helps him through the grieving process and he can help the Steelers as well. Now, going on to, into 2023, we don't know if he's going to play play this year or even next year. We're not too sure. But all I know is on the defensive line with Cameron Haywood uh, to it, and if we bring back Aluwalu, this is the defense that will be top five. 100% will be top five. With the inclusion of bringing in Brian Flores, too, for the linebackers coach, we have Devin Bush, TJ Watt, Highsmith, uh, we may end up drafting Devin Lloyd if he falls to us at uh, the middle linebacker. The front seven will be crazy if we can figure this situation out with. And I'm glad, I'm glad at this point too, with Kevin Colbert and Stefan Tuitt, they're actually, you know, they're talking, well, they've probably been talking, they've probably been talking all year, but the past few days, I read an article and it was saying, they had finally been in contact and they're, they're now pronouncing to the fans like you and me that this, this relationship might come back and he's welcoming uh, to it back to the Steelers. So I think it's a good sign. I really do. Um, as much as what he's been through is horrible and with, with the knee injuries, I do wish him all the best. I hope that Tuart can come back to the Steelers. I think if he comes back to the Steelers instantly where it is an upgrade. Like I said, top five, maybe top five is too high, right? Maybe top five is too high, but definitely around the top 10. We will be a top 10 defense, and it will be fantastic to watch, like 100%. Hey, guys, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, Stefan Tuart's coming back? Will he make a big difference? Look, I know it's a very, you know, funny topic. However, it needed to be, it needed to be addressed today. Hope you guys had a great weekend. If you guys enjoy the content uh, from Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate, my name's Mark. Please feel free to leave a like, share, and sub, and we'll get after it once again. We'll get after it. Thanks, guys, for checking out the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate.